I was a kid, um, when she first put out that hit, Venus as a Boy, that was like my favourite song when I was 10 years old or something. It was kooky and new and fresh and um, I hadn't heard anything like it on the radio before, so yeah, I, I just sort of yeah, really fell in love with that sort of sound. Over the years with Blackbird we've covered quite a few of her songs and um, then I heard that she'd turned 50 and I thought oh my goodness she doesn't look 50 um, but what a good time to like celebrate her life's work so far. So a few years ago we decided that we would put on a concert devoted entirely to her music. So I write songs but I also do arranging and composing as well and she was the first artist that I um, came across that kind of did both as well, you know, like write songs but then also comes from a classical background. Definitely on an orchestration level, like she just goes absolutely, you know, full tilt. No restraint in her, in her orchestrations and just so playful and exciting and yeah, and the level of musicianship is wild, you know, like it's fun but it's also highly complicated, yeah. terrifying to be honest to start with like you know I think both Claire and I are like we love her music so much then when Claire was like okay let's do this show and can you do some of the arranging and you go yeah sure and then when you actually sit down and go right I'm gonna arrange Björk songs you're like what am I doing <laughs> like, um, so it's yeah finding your own little avenue into it right at the top this I was a fan back in the day, and her first um, three albums actually I was really, really keen on in my high school year, so I listened to them a lot. Yeah, still really, really love all those songs off um, debut, post, and homogenic. Yeah, big time. I was way into them. So I can feel happier to be safe up here with you. She has a really unique. Uh, way with phrasing in particular. She, um, she's quite experimental in the way she places words over music and so it's not always obvious where the lyrics lands. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely new, uh, new ground, new territory for me. I've never done anything like um, Bjork before, but it's, yeah. R&B and soul is kind of my thing, so I'm, I'm used to like a steady groove and a pulse where um, <laughs> and these songs, it's it's quite difficult. Um, some of the songs like have trouble finding the pulse or you know um, the rhythm, so it's uh, it's, it's a little bit um, <laughs> hard trying to trying to know where you're at <laughs> at times. But but it's definitely it's a good challenge for me. It is hard, yeah. Um, I think as a vocalist, I have to be you know really dynamic, and, and especially in this show. I think is the energy levels like sometimes she's super quiet and then other times it's like really on the edge and you know long phrases and high energy so i find it very challenging <laughs> but in a good way in a great way yeah <laughs>you know, more experimental and more sort of um, inspired by lots of different things. It's just endlessly complicated and endlessly um, ingenious in the way that she comes up with things, so original. Um, I researched a lot of the live concerts of how she recreates her albums live and she often does it in a quite different way because uh, of the production of things. Sometimes they're made with drum machines that are played by the computer, so I've been challenging our, our drum kit player, Tristan, to recreate these things, you know, with a, with a human touch. It's a lot to take on um, in a short space of rehearsal times, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful kind of chaos.